Unlock the truth about multivitamins and discover why many prefer food-based vitamins for better absorption. Welcome to Omni Healthy, your go-to place for health tips. Today, we're diving into a topic that could change the way you look at your supplements forever. Are all multivitamins created equal? Spoiler alert, not even close. Stick around as we explore the science behind food-based versus synthetic vitamins and why your body may be saying, no thank you, to those neon-colored factory pills. Everything I cover in this video is backed by sources like the NIH, Harvard, the CDC, and peer-reviewed research, and all the citations are in the description if you want to dig deeper. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell, it really helps the channel, and I promise to keep the health tips coming. Let's start with the basics. Multivitamins. Those little capsules of hope we pop each morning thinking they'll fix our midnight snack guilt and maybe even turn us into a superhero. In reality, multivitamins are meant to supplement, not replace, a healthy diet. Think of them like insurance. They cover the gaps, but they're no substitute for the real deal. These supplements typically contain a blend of essential vitamins, minerals, and sometimes herbs, enzymes, or amino acids. They're designed to prevent nutrient deficiencies and support overall wellness, assuming your body can actually absorb them. Here's where things get tricky. Not all vitamins are created equal, and more importantly, not all vitamins are absorbed equally. That's the nutritional plot twist nobody talks about, and that's where the battle begins food-based versus synthetic, a tale of two capsules. Multivitamins have been around for decades, evolving from simple blends to complex formulations. Early versions were basic, often just a mix of a few essential vitamins and minerals. Today, they can include a wide array of nutrients, tailored to specific needs like age, gender, and health conditions. But with all these options, how do you know which one is right for you? It's essential to understand your own nutritional needs and consult with a healthcare provider. Personalized advice can help you make an informed choice, ensuring you get the most benefit from your multivitamin. Remember, multivitamins are just one piece of the puzzle in maintaining good health. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and a healthy lifestyle are equally important. So, while those little capsules can help, they're not a magic bullet. They're part of a bigger picture of wellness. Let's talk synthetics. No, not futuristic robots or plastic furniture. I'm talking about synthetic vitamins. These are man-made vitamins produced in factories using chemical reactions. Some synthetic vitamins are made using starting materials like petroleum derivatives or chemically modified sugars. Substances that sound industrial but are refined for human use. It's a bit like making perfume from flowers. The original source may surprise you, but it's about the end product. The goal of synthetic vitamins is to mimic the structure of natural nutrients. They try to replicate what's found in food, but it's kind of like comparing a rubber apple to a real one. Sure, they look similar, but try taking a bite. More importantly, these synthetic versions often lack the naturally occurring cofactors enzymes, phytonutrients, and minerals that your body needs to recognize and use the nutrient properly. It's not just about having the right shape, it's about having the right team. And guess what? Without those helpers, absorption may be limited, and your body might not utilize the vitamin as efficiently as it would from whole food sources. Synthetic vitamins are often isolated compounds, missing the synergy of whole foods. Whole foods provide a complex matrix of nutrients that work together harmoniously. When you take a synthetic vitamin, your body might not recognize it as well as it does with nutrients from food. This can lead to less efficient absorption and utilization of the vitamin. So, while synthetic vitamins can fill gaps, they're not a perfect substitute for a balanced diet rich in whole foods. Always consider the source of your vitamins and aim for a diet that provides nutrients in their most natural form. Let's talk bioavailability. Sounds like something from a science textbook, but I promise it's crucial. 
Bioavailability means how much of a nutrient actually enters your bloodstream and becomes usable. You can swallow 100 milligrams of a vitamin, but if your body only absorbs 10 milligrams, the rest might as well go down the drain. Literally. Some synthetic vitamins may have lower bioavailability, meaning a portion of what you take might pass through your system without being fully absorbed, which could make that expensive supplement less effective than you hoped. So while your bottle says megadose, your body might say, thanks, but I'm good. And what you don't absorb could just leave your body the usual way. Food-based vitamins, on the other hand, come with all the right biological co-passengers, enzymes, flavonoids, trace minerals, that help your body recognize, absorb, and use the nutrients the way nature intended. Think of synthetic vitamins like a person going through security. They might get through, but it's more difficult. Food-based vitamins show up with the entourage, credentials, and all access passes. Your body knows exactly what to do with them. So next time you're choosing vitamins, remember, bioavailability is key. Choose wisely and your body will thank you. Now for the good stuff. Food-based vitamins, also known as multivitamins made with real whole foods. These are made by fermenting vitamins with probiotics, yeast or other natural cultures in a way that mimics how nutrients exist in whole foods. The result? A supplement designed to be more like the nutrients your body gets from food because they're made with ingredients like carrots, spinach, blueberries, and sprouted grains, you're getting more than just isolated nutrients. You're getting a broader nutritional profile closer to what's found in nature. It's like comparing a text message to a handwritten letter with a box of cookies. One's functional, the other's thoughtful, complete, and leaves you feeling good. And yes, food-based vitamins cost more, but so does organic food, filtered water, and therapy and your body deserves all three. When you choose food-based vitamins, you're choosing a supplement that's closer to nature. You're investing in your health with ingredients that are more recognizable and easier for your body to absorb. Think of it as giving your body the best possible fuel, just like you would with a balanced, nutritious meal. Many people choose food-based supplements for their potential benefits, like improved absorption and overall support for well-being. So next time you're choosing a multivitamin, consider going the food-based route. Your body will just thank you for it. Still skeptical? Let's look at what the science says, minus the confusing graphs and scary Latin names. A study published in PLOS 1 examined the relationship between multivitamin intake and blood biochemistry markers, highlighting improved nutrient levels, especially for B vitamins and potential benefits for overall health. Some research suggests that excess synthetic folic acid may remain unmetabolized in the body, raising questions about potential long-term health effects, including links under investigation with certain conditions like cancer. While findings remain inconclusive, it's a bit like using a fake ID, not only ineffective, but possibly setting you up for trouble later. Meanwhile, food-based folate, the kind from leafy greens and fermented multis, is naturally converted by the body with no weird leftovers. The bottom line, science backs nature. The human body is naturally adapted to absorb nutrients from whole foods, which may be processed differently than those made synthetically. In fact, numerous studies have consistently shown that food-based nutrients are more bioavailable and better absorbed by the body. This means you get more bang for your buck with food-based vitamins leading to better overall health and well-being. On the other hand, synthetic vitamins often come with fillers and additives that your body doesn't need and can't use effectively. So next time you're choosing a multivitamin, remember, nature knows best. Opt for food-based options to truly nourish your body. Let's talk dirty little secrets. Supplement labels love using the word natural. It's worth looking deeper into labels to understand what natural really means. In the United States, the term natural on vitamin labels is not strictly regulated. This means that a product can be labeled as natural, even if the majority of its ingredients are synthetic, 
provided that at least one component is derived from a natural source such as rose hips or rice bran. The FDA has not formally defined natural for dietary supplements, allowing manufacturers considerable flexibility in labeling. As a result, vitamins labeled as natural may contain predominantly synthetic ingredients. Marketing departments love this. It makes the label look clean and trustworthy, but don't fall for it. If they're not proudly saying where the nutrients come from, there's a reason for that. It's like dating someone who won't tell you where they work. Suspicious. So what should you look for instead? Transparency is key. Seek out brands that provide detailed information about the sources of their ingredients. Consult with a nutritionist or healthcare provider to understand what's best for you. Educate yourself. Read books and articles from reputable sources to get a better grasp of what you're putting into your body. When shopping, take your time to compare products. Don't rush the process. Making informed choices will lead to better health outcomes. Remember, your health is worth the extra effort. Keep track of your health goals and stay committed to them. A holistic approach to health includes mindfulness and self-awareness. Incorporate practices like yoga and meditation to support your overall well-being. And don't forget, a balanced diet is the foundation of good health. Choose supplements that align with your health goals and values. Stay informed, stay healthy, and make choices that are right for you. If you're playing supplement detective, here's your magnifying glass. Watch out for these common label indicators. DL-alpha tocopherol acetate, a synthetic form of vitamin E. Ascorbic acid without mention of a food source, often a synthetic form of vitamin C. Cyanocobalamin, a widely used synthetic form of vitamin B12. Prefer more naturally derived options. Look for terms like methylcobalamin for B12, mixed tocopherols for E and vitamin C sourced from acerola, camu camu or amla fruit. Also, some people choose to avoid additives like FD and C dyes, titanium dioxide, or PEGs, polyethylene glycols. While these are FDA approved, they're not essential nutrients, so some health conscious folks prefer cleaner labels. Bottom line, if the label reads like a chemistry exam, it might not be from whole food sources. And that's something to consider if you're aiming for a more natural supplement. Opt for supplements that clearly state their whole food sources. Look for certifications like organic and non-GMO to ensure quality. Comparing labels can make a big difference in your health. Consult a nutritionist if you're unsure about which supplements to choose. Educate yourself on the benefits of natural supplements. Your body will thank you for making informed choices. Let's be fair. Are synthetic vitamins always bad? Nope. In some cases, they're actually necessary. For instance, certain medical conditions require synthetic vitamins for effective treatment. For example, if someone has pernicious anemia, they may need high-dose synthetic B12 injections. This is because their body cannot absorb B12 from food sources. People recovering from surgery or malabsorption conditions like celiac or Crohn's might need synthetic nutrients short-term. These conditions can impair the body's ability to absorb nutrients from food. Even prenatal vitamins often include synthetic folic acid because of regulatory standards. But more and more brands are shifting to B9, methylfolate, the bioactive, food-based alternative. This shift is due to the growing awareness of the benefits of food-based nutrients. So yes, synthetics have their place. They can be crucial in specific scenarios where natural vitamins might not be sufficient or practical. But they're like training wheels, great in emergencies, not ideal forever. Just as training wheels help a child learn to ride a bike, synthetic vitamins can support health temporarily until the body can rely on natural sources. Ultimately, the goal should be to transition to a diet rich in whole foods, providing the necessary nutrients naturally. This approach supports long-term health and well-being. Remember, while synthetic vitamins can be a helpful tool, they are not a substitute for a healthy, balanced diet. Prioritize whole foods to ensure you're getting the best nutrition possible. Ready to upgrade your vitamin game? Here's how to pick a good food-based multi. 
Look for labels that mention from organic food sources. Check for third-party testing like NSF, USP or Consumer Lab. Prioritize transparency. Does the company share where and how they grow their ingredients? Also, bonus points for sustainability, recyclable packaging, ethical sourcing, and no shady proprietary blends. Remember, you're not just buying a product, you're supporting a philosophy, one that believes in real food, real nutrients, and real results. First, always read the label. Look for whole food sources and avoid synthetic fillers. Consult with a healthcare professional or nutritionist to understand your specific needs. Check reviews and testimonials to see what others are saying about the product. Look for certifications like non-GMO, organic and gluten-free to ensure quality. Integrate your vitamins into your daily routine for the best results. Many people say they feel more energized and balanced when using food-based supplements, though everyone's body is different. Share your experience with friends and family to spread the benefits of quality vitamins. Support local health stores and community events to stay informed and connected. Remember, choosing the right multivitamin is a step towards a healthier, happier you. Let's not forget the most important truth of all. No supplement replaces a healthy diet. Food-based multivitamins are a great bridge, not a substitute. Think of them like a sidekick. But your main superhero is still your plate. So if you're choosing between synthetic pills or a multivitamin grown in the same soil as your kale and carrots, go with nature. Whole foods provide a complex array of nutrients that work together in ways supplements can't replicate. Embrace the power of nature's bounty and make your meals as colorful and varied as possible. Supplements can help, but nothing replaces the benefits of a varied whole food diet. If this video opened your eyes, helped you make a better supplement choice, or at least made you laugh once, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and drop a comment below with your go-to multivitamin brand especially if it's food-based. And check out my channel for recommended products if interested. Remember, your health is your wealth. Stay healthy, stay vibrant, stay omni-healthy.